every single hunt that I go on is very special and every hunt is very memorable. And I get the exact same feeling every time. There's times there, you know, I'll get up to 200 or more death threats a day. Things so vile is people telling me they're gonna kidnap my son and I and they're gonna skin him alive and hang him from a tree. Why would I let someone so sick in the head stop me from doing what I'm doing just because they don't like it? It seems wherever she goes, like here along the Mediterranean coast in Croatia, Canadian Jacine Jadresko attracts attention of one kind or another. I've always been, you know, pretty well known in this town because I work in tourism and um, I'm already kind of different. I'm the young, tattooed single mom with the pit bull, which is very, very unusual for around here. She's a local celebrity, not only because she's managed her well-to-do family's hotel properties in Croatia, but also because she's not the typical button-down business type. It isn't just the tattoos, it's her unrelenting Instagram campaign. From extensive selfies to expensive guns. Oh, this is my, my 7mm right here. It's a beautiful gun. One of the best scopes money can buy. <laughs> we like to shoot. In particular, Jacine Jadresko loves to travel the world, hunting big game, and cheerfully posting her kill shots online. Some of the following material may be offensive. I was specifically looking for a bear. Then I wanted a nice, a nice big boy. It's special because I took him on my dad's birthday, my first time using my dad's rifle. It was a perfectly clean shot, one shot. Jacine's Instagram name is The Inked Huntress, though sometimes it's difficult to tell where the tattoos end and the camouflage begins. Hunting is a whole experience. She sees herself nature. as an ethical hunter and sees hunting as a form of wildlife conservation. In about a year and a half, I hunted in nine countries and I successfully hunted 29 species. It's very primal and natural. And, you know, I take one very quick ethical shot through the vitals and it's done. So we are here in Alicante, Spain, about an hour away from the big, big city and we're hunting Barbary sheep. These are excerpts from a show sponsored by a manufacturer of hunting apparel for women. And in the world of female big game trophy hunters, Jacine Jadresko is a rising star. That's her with the iridescent yellow nails. Hunting by women has virtually doubled in the past 10 years, and marketers are anxious to prove that even blood sport could use a little glamour. Especially with Jacine's following on social media, she's caught the eye of advertisers. In this video, she promotes a hunting outfitter in Spain. The footage shows why she's in demand, a natural with her finger on the trigger and on camera. Yes! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> But she's learned the hard way that not everyone sees her post-kill pictures of the hunter and the hunted, quite the same as she does. Jacine calls this harvesting. I have a huge respect for each species that I hunt and each animal that I hunt, and they, they are each very special to me. For me, I can't speak for other hunters, but I know for me, when I successfully harvest an animal, um, I want to remember that, of course. And, you know, you take a picture because it's a respect to the animal, you know, to remember that animal and remember the whole hunt and the whole day and everything. Can you understand that people would hear you say, I respect the animals, every animal I kill, and think that that's a heck of a way to show it? Well, they don't hunt. Yeah, yeah. You use the word harvest. Yeah. 
rather than kill. Well, it's, it is harvesting, you know, I'm harvesting meat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, you could, you could use the word kill equally. You're still, you're killing the animal and taking the meat. I don't see it that way. You keep saying the word kill and hunting is not about it is. killing. You, but, but hunting it, it is, is not it is definitively about, about killing. killing at all for me. Trophy hunting, that is hunting for recreation, not food, has existed for centuries. But today it's under attack as never before. In large part because of Cecil the Lion, a famous African tourist attraction lured from a protected national park, then killed by a wealthy American trophy hunter, triggering outrage around the world. To many, that hunter, a dentist named Walter Palmer, became public enemy number one and the butt of late night shows. Here's some a-hole dentist who wants a lion's head over the fireplace in his man cave so his douchebag buddies can gather around it and drink scotch and tell him how awesome he is. That's just vomitous. But Dr. Palmer has Jacine's sympathy. She blames his guides, not him. It's really unfortunate that he had to go through what he went through, I think. You know, unfortunate that the media portrayed it in the way that they did. Um, in, in what way do you think it was I think misportrayed? That I, I really think that the media twisted things and tried to make him out to be a, you know, a bad guy. Being portrayed as a villain for killing the King of Beasts is something Jacine Jadresco knows about. In 2014, she paid thousands of dollars to a South African outfitter to hunt a lion. She had it recorded by a professional videographer and posted on YouTube. Unlike the dentist's killing of Cecil the lion, she points out this was a lawful hunt. She says she was on private property and the meat was given to local people. It's completely legal. It's completely sanctioned by the government. Whether people like that or not, you know, is a different story. Afterwards, Jacine had the lion stuffed and mounted, the ultimate conversation piece. I'm proud of Jacine for the passion that she does have, for the commitment she has, for the fitness that it takes, the, the strength that it takes, and, and uh, I'm proud of her that she has a passion for it. Indeed, hunting is in her blood. She learned the sport from her father, Danny, an enthusiastic hunter himself. Our hunting in our family is now probably getting close to 50, 60 years going back from my father and uh, then going to me and my brother and now going down to uh, my family. Danny Jadresco is a self-made and successful businessman and the family owns several homes, including this vacation property on Vancouver Island. Jacine returned to Canada from Croatia last year and is studying full-time for her MBA. But almost every weekend, there's a hunt. The whole part of just being out there and uh, being in nature is such a, a connection and a, you know, a grounding feeling. All the work that goes into it, uh, field dressing the animal, harvesting the meat, all that part I enjoy so much. Hat, and away we go. It's so much more than just going out and shooting an animal. You know, a lot of people think that that's what hunters, they watch, you know, these movies and just think there were these hillbillies out here driving around shooting at anything, you know, that moves and it's not like that. Just cause we're in the bushes doesn't mean girls have to get all bush man. <laughs> girls can hunt and still be girly. We're out here today, we're looking for, for black-tail deer. They're um, the Columbia black-tail. Uh, I'm looking for a buck. Legally, I can take any buck, so as long as it's got any antlers at all, we can turn it into dinner. 
Today, three generations of the Jadresco family are hunting deer. This is where I saw those elk last time. Father, daughter, and Jacine's son, 10-year-old Diesel. Come on, deer, 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 where are you? Diesel, where are all the deer? They say their family freezer is always full of meat they've hunted themselves. How's that? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so remember, you yeah, breathe out, and then after you breathe out, you pull the trigger, and make sure you follow it through, okay? Go when you're ready. Yeah! Blasted it. Good shot, D. Good job. Pretty good, huh? He started shooting with a, with a pellet gun at four years old, and moved up to a 22 when he was, I think, what, seven? And now he's uh, 10 and he has a, a 243. His first kills when he was eight. So he's been hunting pretty much all of his life. It's, uh, you know, it's our mother-son thing that we do together. Because I like Cause spending so time nice. with you. Because I'm so nice, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A Canadian family hunting deer may not be cause for controversy. But Jacine's big game trophy hunts around the world certainly are. She's been called the most hated woman on the internet. And online, the reaction to her can be disturbingly graphic. I can't specific. I mean, I've had someone say August 10th, I have your address, you're gonna wake up to one bullet in the head. You know, I hope you get cancer and everyone in your family burns alive in a house fire and just like crazy things. Has the controversy, for want of a better term, mm -hmm. changed your outlook in any way? No. Why would I let someone so sick in the head stop me from enjoying my life and doing what I'm doing and um, doing what makes me happy and, and doing what makes me feel fulfilled as a person um, just because they don't like it. She calls her critics haters, crybabies, keyboard warriors. She says she has no intention of letting the pressure and threats stop her from sharing her hunting adventures online. And she most certainly is not about to stop hunting. It's the woman thing too, I think. I, you know, I think if people saw a picture of a man and he had just finished cleaning out, you know, an animal and he had blood all over him, they'd be like, oh, you know, whatever. But because I'm a woman and I have my hair in pigtail braids and it's, you know, on my face, they just feel this extra shock um, that it's a woman doing these things. Should you need proof that Jacine Jadresco won't bow to her critics, listen to what else may be on her big game bucket list. Perhaps an elephant. Elephants are known as intelligent, sociable, family-oriented creatures. Lots they of stay together. Are. They stay together for their whole lives. Plenty of animals do. That 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 doesn't figure into the decision for you? No. Would you would you put the head of an elephant over the <laughs> over the Fireplace? I think it would fit. <laughs> I don't think it would fit, though. Would you really? What's the difference between that and a deer or an ibex or an awdad or an elk or a moose? I wouldn't hunt any of them, so you'll have, you'll have to answer the but question. That's the thing. I'm saying, why does um, one you know, animal have more of a right to live, as some anti-hunters would say, than a deer? just because we in North America think it's prettier or more exotic looking. One response to that might be this. In the past 75 years, 95% of the African lion population has disappeared. Many elephant species are now considered endangered. And tigers are critically endangered everywhere. Rainy, hey? The last, a message that apparently has registered with Jacine. What do you want to shoot the most? A tiger. <laughs> a tiger? 
Yeah, that would be top of my list too. Unfortunately, it's not legal anywhere. <laughs>